This question is given in gate 2012. A question is given the basic ER and relational models. So ER means NT relation and relational means the tables. Which of the following is incorrect? They are asking you which of the following is false. Now the first one is an attribute of an entity can have more than one value. See, they are talking about entity. Therefore, they are talking about ER, ER model, isn't it? So since the name entity was given, we can infer that they are talking about ER model. Now in ER model, an attribute can have more than one value. So what is it they are saying? Is multi-valued attribute allowed or not? Yes, in ER model, multi-valued attribute is allowed, right? For example, a student can have many phone numbers. In that case, we are going to make a phone number as multi-valued attribute in, in case of uh, ER model. But what happens to this in relation model? We are, we are supposed to have only single valued attributes and even composite attributes are also not allowed, right? So whenever there is a multi-valued attribute, we are going to create a separate table in case of, uh, you know, relation model. Now, an the B option is, see, first one is right, okay? Second one is, an attribute of an entity can be composite. Yes, in ER model, again, attributes can be composite. Attributes can be simple or derived or uh, composite or even uh, multi-valued or complex. These are the various types of attributes we have in entity model, right? Now, in a row of a relational table, which means they are now talking about the relational database, which means the tables, okay? In the row, row means uh, one row, you know that, right? In the row of a relational table, an attribute can have more than one value. So, they are asking whether an attribute can have more than one value in relation table. Is it allowed in relation table? In relation table, only single valued attributes are allowed, right? Multi valued attributes are not allowed. In case if you have a multi valued attribute, you had to create a table separately. We discussed it, right? This is incorrect. Now, what about D? In a row of a relational table, an attribute can have exactly one value or a null value, right? It is allowed. So, an attribute can have one value or null value. You know, uh, only one exception for this one is. Uh, I know that uh, particular uh, primary key in case if you have any key attribute that primary key you are not supposed to have null value but then since we are not talking about any primary key attribute they are saying an attribute so let's let's allow that okay so only incorrect statement is this so in a row of a uh, you know relation table an attribute can have more than one attribute is false okay if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. 
So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.